Rose Body Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And I am painting this on the inside of my arm. So I'm going to start with red body paint and I'm going to be painting the shape of the rose. And so I'm going to start at the top of the rose and then paint down. And so the top of it is going to have a lot of different levels or what looks like a lot of different levels. And this is all the different petals as they're overlapping. And if you do want to look at either the picture, the thumbnail picture that I have for this tutorial, or you can get a picture of a rose online, either way that'll look, you know, just so you can see how the outline of it would look. So then you're going to want to paint the bottom of the rose and it's almost like a U shape underneath. So now I'm going to be painting my stem and I'm going to add a couple leaves as well. So I'm using a nice bright green paint. This is probably a little brighter than the rose would actually be, but after we add the shading, it's going to turn out to be about the right color. So paint the stem and then I'm going to be adding a leaf coming off to one side. And then you also want to add four or five, you know, depending on how close together you place them, um, little leaves that go around the base of the flower. So now for the fun part, we're going to be sketching in the highlights on the rose. So basically right now is where you're choosing where your petals are placed. And because of where you did place the outline before, it is sort of planned out. But this is still where it gets to be fun. You get to add those little details. So I'm taking white paint in my brush and I'm just going to be sketching in how they go. And when you're painting a rose, because there isn't really a very good place to start painting it with when you're doing the petals, um, you just have to kind of keep working at it, keep building out further and further until all of your petals are filled in. So I just, um, to clean my brush, I just uh, washed it out in some, in my, um, the little bit of water that I have, and then I just dried it on a paper towel. This is getting all of the pigment out of the brush, but still leaving a little bit of water so that it can rehydrate the paint, reactivate the paint to make it blend in a little bit. So you're just going to want to blend in all of your white. You don't really want to look white. You almost want it to look kind of like a sort of shade of pink. Um, or a lighter red. So this is just blending those in so those lines don't look nearly so harsh. And now we're going to be adding the low lights. Every time you highlight, you need to low light. So I'm using brown paint for this. If you do have a deeper shade of red in your body paint, um, you could use that as well. Um, but I think adding the brown adds different tone values and different layers to it, and it just makes it a little bit more a little less fake looking I think but you know dark red would work or even you could just start out using black so just shade in all of your petals and so like we blended in your highlights are going to blend the lowlights except for instead of using the clean damp brush this time we're going to be using a brush that has red body paint in it. And the reason that we are doing it differently than we did with the white is because if you just keep using the clean damp brush eventually you're probably going to wear through your original red layer of paint and you're going to get your skin showing through it again. So this is just going to reinforce the red color and bring it out a little more as well. And so now if this is up to you, if you want to deepen your highlights even more, you can take some black body paint and just add very small amounts. You don't want it to be too heavy on the black. You want the rose to look bright and young and fresh. Um, so I didn't add the black low lights everywhere. I just selected a few places where I wanted to deepen them. 
And then like we have been, we're going to be blending these out. Um, when I'm blending these ones, I'm also using red. I'm not just using the clean brush. So now like we shaded in our rose, we're going to be doing the same for our stem and our leaves. So I'm using a darker shade of green, um, of green body paint, just because for this part, since our original green was a little too bright, um, this is going to balance that out. So shade in your leaves and the stem. And then we're going to blend in the darker shade of green and you're going to want to load up your brush with the lighter one and just almost paint over the top of what you just painted. This is going to blend the two together and make the lines less harsh. And it's also going to make the, whole, the overall color not either the light color or the dark one. It's going to make it a shade in between. And like we did some brown on the rose, I'm also just going to selectively place a little bit of brown in a couple different places just to make it have more earthy tones in it. And so here's the fun part of the leaf. We're going to be painting the veins in the leaf. So start with a line that goes down the center and then add little ones coming off almost like an ostrich, or not an ostrich, a peacock feather. And then you're just going to almost do squiggly lines in between those sections that you painted. So it's almost like doing random doodles. And then you're also going to want to add the little rough edge along the edge of the leaf just because rose leaves are almost kind of spiky. And I'm also going to just really lightly shade in the bottom of that leaf. And then I'm going to be painting a bow on the tip of my rose. And if you don't want to add the bow, don't worry about it. You could stop after the last step, but I think it's kind of cute and it adds to the Valentine's Day touch. So I'm going to start and it's almost like painting a um, infinity symbol or a figure eight. And then add a little circle in the center where the two pieces connect. And then add little lines that um, are the width of the rose stem. And so that'll look like there's a ribbon wrapped around it. And then add the tails of the ribbon off to each side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my tutorial. And please share any recreations you have with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them and they look fabulous. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!